Welcome back to Glider Gaming. We're jumping back into the glider cage. So let's uh, let's see where we left off here. We're starting our tree farm, which is being fed by the overflow on our um, on our lavatories. We are growing a sufficient amount of food, I think, to maintain our eight people. We are getting this hot geyser sealed in with some thermo protection and clearing out a tank so that there'll be adequate space to hold plenty of salt water. We still need to figure out our oxygen. Our algae is holding pretty well at 2,000 kilograms or 2 tons, but we will need to get additional algae going or a new oxygen system going soon. See, those won't let me place... Uh, this one will let me place a blueprint. We don't have any power right now, which is strange for the middle of the day, but uh, not terribly surprising because I believe I have this sweeping priority set pretty high because once we uh, once we flood this space, it's going to be way too hot for them to get back in here again. Let's uh, let's lock this real quick and just have a look at the consumable ore salt. We've got five tons. Oh, they didn't actually lock the door, so it's hard to say how much of that is down here and how much of it is up there. I think we're probably fine. We've cleaned up most of it, and they're dropping things because they can't really hold their breath this long. So we're just finishing up the, uh, the errands that were assigned to them. It's a pretty long run for them to get from here-ish down and back again. If you aren't familiar with this, um, these are soft tiles. They're algae tiles and slime tiles. If I were to just uh, dig these spots out, they would break. Um, from the pressure of all that water. So the water can't flow diagonally through two solid tiles, so we're just digging it out and building one at a time so that we don't flood the base. We have to dig these out and do this, otherwise we can't plant trees in these spots due to the constraints of the, the trees having to be a 9x9 a nine nine available. Okay, 13,000 kilocals of meal lice. We are doing okay. A couple of skill points have been earned. Gene, okay, has enough morale for that, so sweet. Now we can dig through anything. So we're going to open up this leaky oil fissure over here. Oh yeah, we did find a leaky oil fissure <laughs> over here. This is going to allow us to get access to petroleum much earlier than we otherwise would be able to, so that's pretty cool. It's going to be pretty spicy though, that oil comes out at several hundred degrees. It cools down pretty fast, but definitely a liability for our people. So we better get the power through the hot spot. Oh, just connected in. And then plumbing. I don't know that we ever even assigned... No, okay, we did do a little bit of plumbing. Okay. 
Okay. This is contaminated. Someone did have a potty problem and contaminated this with food germs. So we can do anything we want with this except food. We do still have sterile, f sterile uh, water over here. Okay, we're draining this pretty well. Wow, there was a lot of water up there. We did find a volcano right there. That's uh, minor, and the exception of not being able to reach that right now, we will be able to seal all that off to prevent heat leaching out. We really don't care much about this area over here, and if it's hot, we can go ahead and protect all the way over to the abyssalite. The abyssalite will hold all the rest of the heat just fine. This is pretty spicy over here. Oh, from the uh, the water that leaked in, this water was 60 degrees. Normally this would be a 30 degree biome. Oh, there's an oil reservoir right there, so we have another easy access to oil. We're checking for other neutroniums we haven't identified yet. Ooh, some really cold abyssalite. So we've got a nice cold biome over there. Oh, and a cold biome over here. Cool. Iron ore in the cold biome. Hopefully, maybe that could be a rust biome, so we could get a better source of oxygen production. Okay, people are creating power again, so that's good. Little squeak. Not really ready to take another person quite yet. So, oops, I was supposed to reject them all. We're sustainable at the moment. We will take more dupes, and fairly soon. I just want to know that I can create enough oxygen for what we have. Right now, we are not. Okay. So research-wise, smart batteries wouldn't be terrible. Getting some infrastructure for power setup would not be bad either, but Ultimately, I do like to have smart batteries for these as well, so smart battery will be coming soon. So I suppose we could drop a ladder down here. Come check out this other one we found. I'm pretty sure cracked granite will be okay, but I mean, ultimately, it's not a huge deal. In fact, I'll just do that right now so it drains out properly. We're not going to need any of that. Heat wise, this will warm up pretty hot pretty fast. So we better do something about that. Uh, well, yeah, we can just do that. Uh, one, two, three, four, one. This will be a floor. Eventually we'll be able to encapsulate this whole thing. I think we're just going to go ahead and drain that right in there so we can get in here and build these. Whoa, skis. Uh, let's go ahead and allow you guys to exit, but not come back in. And, of course, I did not think about that. That's awesome. No, it's not. Shoot. 
Ugh. Now we've gotten water and our oil. Oh my gosh. Huh. Salt water turns to regular water at some point. Not sure how, but very interesting. Unless there was just water sitting there. I don't know. Could be. We can mop it all up for the most part, I think. Okay. Well, we fixed that blunder. Super annoyed I got that tainted because now we're going to have to use a, a filter to. Or just suck up the fact that we're going to be damaging something. Is that red thing salt water? Or oil, maybe? Natural gas guys are over here. It's always nice to find early on. Tree-wise, we sure could use more of them. So let's dig up some trees. Let's go straight across to here and get that tree. Where else do we have trees? There's a tree. I'm going to leave these trees because they're part of a nature park that I'm going to create. So when you're playing, if you find geysers and sources of water, open them up early and create reservoirs for them. Because if you want your your colony to last a cycle four to six hundred, you need just piles of water lying around. Um, eventually, I'll probably go around digging all of these little pockets of polluted water and allow them to drain into one big one so that I have a nice tank of polluted water to refine. Um, salt water is new, but, you know, we can desalinate it, so collecting this giant tank will be helpful. Once we have exosuits unlocked, I will send somebody in here with an exosuit to, to build a uh, liquid pump in there. But water is 100% something that will stop you from getting to cycle 600. These systems here, you know, if you're just always pumping in new fresh water, um, it's kind of inefficient because these, unless they've changed it, I haven't checked since 1.0, but dupes create more water by flushing a toilet that's plumbed than Oh, how does that work? Oh, yeah, it takes... Yeah. yeah, these take in clean water, but when they flush out polluted water, the dupes add more polluted water than is put in its clean water, so you net gain polluted water. So you can just create a little closed system like this, and then you can send overflow polluted water, overflow cleaned water to something else. So make early and often use of plum toilets to, to start netting free water. Okay. And dig those two spots out. Well, I guess we'll dig these three spots out. That way the water has to go down in here.
Perfect. A copper volcano. Awesome. This is another great find early. You will waste a lot of duplicate time labor. Ah, ha here's another one. A lot of duplicate uh, time and a lot of their labor, a lot of power, and create a lot of heat refining metal. But if you can find a refine, come across a refined metal volcano, that's just free refined metal. So you can do higher level tech, tech stuff with lower cost to create the, the components of the tech. So that is a magnificent find. Okay, that was way too big. But that's okay. Because now we can just dig out this volcano, and we can just let this water cool the refined metal. All right, we need to create new research priorities. So now that we have free metal access, we'll definitely use that. This area is a little colder than one would expect. It's like 30s over here, but 20s, 19s. It's interesting. Someone got a skill point, and people are idle. That's strange. Why would people be idle? All right, we have lots of trees growing. Well, lots of trees stifled right now due to insufficient irrigation. So if you're not familiar with this setup, we have water flowing here and a bridge prioritizes the output higher. So it tries to send water right here. If this is full, I connected a secondary pipe into the bridge to send polluted water off to a different area. So you'll see all of this water here is filled up and there's as much water as can be in those. So all of the excess comes here so that these can grow, although it's not quite enough to keep them all happy. So we do need more polluted water. Um, one of the best ways to make that polluted water is going to be just creating power. It's a lot of doctoring, but I don't value doctoring very highly, especially in a map like we have now where we can do quite a bit of stuff without exposing ourselves to slime lung germs. I'm surprised. I guess this map doesn't have buddy bud which is oh there's a mushroom or many mushrooms um, I was hoping for buddy buds because the pollen I guess is a, uh, a positive for dupes hey there's a buddy bud Ooh, but to get it we're gonna have to go through all this nasty germ interesting though the oxygen doesn't have germs yet I'm not thrilled by the idea though so we're not gonna go that route yet Okay, they got that dug out. There we go. Tree farm is set up. So, we need to do something. So I don't like to put heat generating things near the, my core base because the core base, you know, is cool and habitable. I like to go out a little bit for power production and things that create heat. So I think what we'll do is we'll just extend this over. Just make a hot spot for all the heat we're going to create inside of this. Yeah, we'll just use scaffolds here. Hmm, strange. Why can't I build a ladder right there? 
unoccupied space. It appears pretty unoccupied to me. Both of these... Oh, there's stuff growing. Okay, that's why. So what we'll probably do is we'll move this over in here too because this also creates heat. And that will just allow our our main base to survive a lot longer without me cool, creating a cooling system to, to keep it happy. So where do I get my arbor sign? I want an arbor sign. Assume it's somewhere down here. Ooh, monument stuff. Well, none of those really look like arbor signs. Exosuit stuff would be nice. Is it maybe part of food? Oh, it is. A park sign. Okay. We already have it. How about that? Alright, so this space right here is 93 tiles, a park can be 64, and a nature reserve can be 120. At least four wild plants, at least two wild plants, at least, oh, okay, so yeah, this should just be a park. So I guess it's probably under food, nope, it is not, utilities, stations, Park sign. Oh yeah, we also need to choose research. Okay, so we could pretty soon make use of plastic. So I guess we can take that. Yeah, we'll just do miniaturization too to finish out that part of that tree. Oh, we stopped ourselves from going further in there. Okay, here's our copper volcano. Makes 8.6 kilograms at 2200 degrees. Erupts for 46 seconds every 724 seconds. And we don't know how soon it's going to go off again. Just gonna plot a route over here real fast. I don't know if they'll be able to do that. It's it's a pretty long walk, but then we'll know what's over here. Okay. We're gonna open this up. No, we're not. We're gonna put an airlock on it. So, we're growing wood. And what are we doing with that wood? We're gonna make. No, not a desalinator, an ethanol distiller. You put in lumber and power, and you get out ethanol, polluted dirt, carbon dioxide. So that's going to go here. I suppose this actually needs to be... Let's just build this ladder. take this up a little higher there okay so just put it on the ceiling over here well where was that it was under refinement okay so the ethanol distiller we're gonna just plop that right down here it has an output of what it has an output of probably liquid ethanol so then over in power, 
we'll have an ethanol burner. Not a wood burner. Oh, it's petroleum. I'm surprised they didn't just change that to something else. I'm pretty sure that's what I've seen other people doing. So I'm going to put this one up here. This is going to just drip dirty water. So we're going to need a tank for this dirty water. It doesn't have to be a very big tank either. Because we're just going to plummet, pump it all out right away. And we're just going to feed that into this system. We're going to use a liquid bridge to combine those. So I find that um, when I'm combining two inputs, the the liquid for one gets prioritized over the other, unless you put them into a liquid bridge, and that will combine the stacks. So whenever you're combining two inflows, use a bridge to reduce your problems. Okay. Okay, except we probably don't want to build that tile yet. Alright, so other plumbing. We're going to take this up this way and feed that in. So the question is, how much does this create? It creates 500 grams per second. And this takes, oh, where'd it go? An input of 2,000 grams per second. So we need like four of those things going to fully fuel it. That's crazy. So let's hold on a second here. Come back into plumbing. Let's cancel all of this plumbing. We're definitely going to have to run two of those things at least to get a fair amount of what we want. So just like I said before, we're going to take a liquid bridge. I guess this is going to be the basis of our power system. So this fella here is going to drop straight down. Power things below it. And we're going to cancel this block right here. And I guess this block right here and we're going to instead use heavy watt joint plates. Hmm, doesn't quite work. Cancel that. Power heavy watt joint plate. Plumbing. Can you flip? No, of course not. Shoot. Okay. So let's cancel all of these, this and that. Um, we're going to put in one more mesh tile. No, we don't need one more mesh tile. It could just be one more tile tile. One tile there and there and there. All right, the plumbing right where it was. This plumbing is actually just fine. The joint plate there, the heavy watt wire. So far, so good.
lots of skill points. Let's head in here and see what we can do skill-wise. So Lindsay has another point, so we might as well put her on the route to Exosuit. She's quickly running out of morale, though. Turner is also a runner, a runner for us, so he can have that. Catalina. She's the one who wants to be a rancher, so we're going to give her the ranching. Ada, you can move up the research. And you want to be a farmer, so you'll take over farming from the other gal. Okay. Uh, we, there's no balm lilies. I, don't, I haven't really been watching for that, but, you know, there's no balm lilies, so... That will be something we can use to grow to make medicines. Well, there's some easier to get Buddy Bud, much less dangerous than the other one. Although I do want more than one Buddy Bud. We're gonna have to give this system a, a jump start of power. This is how we're going to get wire out of here to create our overall power network. And we're having idle dupes again, so I better give them more main base style labor. Hmm. What else do we need to do? Uh, we've run completely out of algae, so that's something we really need to do. We need to collect more algae. There's no polluted oxygen down here anymore. So, right down here we have algae. I'm just going to mine this out then. Some of it's going to fall in here, so we're going to need to have access to this basin to get it out. Let's grab as much of this as possible. having issues getting all the way down here, holding their breath the whole way. So what we could do is we could put an algae terrarium put the algae terrarium right here No Paku don't mind being in salt water. Those guys won't be happy for long. Oh, we got a fungal spore. So we can start thinking about building some slime, slimy fungus ranches, gardens. Okay, we have around a ton of algae again. Okay, a couple tons of algae now. And we can even come over into here and get more. And 
though we're covered in slime lung germs, that's fine. It's always been breathable slime lung that's been the issue. And all the slime we've dug up is submerged in water, so it's not off-gassing, so that's good. So as far as I can tell, there won't be any slime lung put into the air. Awesome. Sure, there's wood kind of laying around all over the place, so that's great. We should definitely auto-harvest these. Yeah, I just counted up. We definitely, if if the three to one is right, we're fine food wise. If it's six to one, we're we need more food. So we'll have to keep our eyes on that. Oh, <laughs> nobody's opened this door. I'm like, why aren't they digging that? Well, technically they can't. That door's not functioning yet. They have to have a bio scan. So we could just start our mushroom farm right here. It'd be just fine. In order to do that, we want to dig out a bunch of stuff. I want to kind of create a trap for the carbon dioxide. We just put one layer right on top of this. Temperatures pushing, acceptable. Dust cap wants to grow, oh, up to 35, yeah. So temperature will actually be fine as long as this barrier holds. So what would that look like? Do this. Maybe not right there. We might do something else. Put a door over here or something. So we do that. We have idle dupes again. Why do we have idle dupes? That doesn't make any sense. Somebody submit this bioscan. Are you trapped? Did I accidentally trap you somehow? It does not appear that I have. I mean, you guys are idle, right? Just do what I've asked. I do not understand these doors. No research selected. Pretty far off from needing steam or solar. Not going to be doing smelting or making steel for a while. Not using radiant piping right now. So let's, yeah, let's just go ahead and research exosuit. That'll take us a while. Here, get all of that. Just figure stuff out for me for a while. Okay, so food-wise, I'm going to extend this over here. We're going to build up a spot so that CO2 will have a little reservoir to sit right where we want it. This will be the primary mushroom farm.
Okay, so arbitrary wise, we're using the wood. We're sending the byproducts of the wood up here to make power, which is creating more dirty water to create more wood. So we've got that system in a loop, so that's great. Nobody's idle right now, so that's nice. So we will want our slime to be nearby. That's pretty far away. So we're going to want a storage bin. We're going to want some water in it. So Our pump's finally empty. And then plumbing. A new water pump right here. Larva eggs. Kind of want those larva eggs. We've got CO2. CO2. I don't really have the heat though. Mm, kind of do down here. I don't know. We'll think about those eggs for a while. Always just let them hatch too. I really don't want to build a pipe all the way over here. So maybe we don't want any of that. Um, one, two, three, four, and one. So this should be the floor. And then we should be able to put a bottle empty right there. Okay, algae's looking good. This terrarium is creating a nice little oxygen pit stop for them, so that's good. Oof. Some beds are submerged in CO2, so we definitely need to destroy more CO2. These actually take destroy CO2 immersed. They don't actually use it. Shoot. So we're going to take just regular water. We're going to, where's the auto bottle? Enable auto bottle. Just want enough water in there to make sure we don't off gas slime. We can take a little bit more water in here, I suppose. All right, that'll probably be fine. Yeah, 400 kilograms should be plenty. Let's go ahead and deconstruct that. This is going to only store slime. And this no longer needs to store slime. Oh, that shine bug's got to go. The mushrooms have to be in the dark to grow. So that shine bug is not helping anything.
<laughs> Checking for other geysers or interesting things on the outskirts of known asteroid. Nosh sprouts. Oh, needs ethanol. It creates nosh beans. Aha, there's some rust finally, and there's ethanol hanging out with that rust for some reason. So that's neat. Dashta salivatine. Oh, and then more rust right there. I didn't even notice. Nice. Okay. So we've gotten all the geysers identified that we found. Temperature-wise, things get a little warm right about here. So we could just take this across. Where would we want this to end? I guess uh, the other side of this would be better. There's some of your derp for the morning. I guess we don't need two routes through here, so we can go ahead and insulate up through this. So we're going to have to go underneath for most of this. Ooh, but I really don't want hydrogen. I think we would ever open this door. Let's check out skill points real quick. Stinky, you've mastered farming, and you also love tidying. Go for it, since it doesn't overtax you. It's strange, he has four morale, only needs three. If we do this, it gives him more morale, but more morale needs as well. So he'd actually be overtaxed morale-wise. So we don't probably want to promote him like that. Ada will get one more morale, I guess just from pride. So that's cool. Oh, she's interested in astronomy, so she gets morale for learning it. That's a neat little tweak. So we'll give you that. Otto needs something low key. Skill-wise, he doesn't really know many skills. He doesn't have enough high attributes to really be good at anything in particular. Does anybody, nobody has construction yet, so let's give you construction. Oh, we haven't let, had anybody put on a hat either. So I don't think the hats really do anything. I, it might kind of affect some of their priorities. But... I don't know. Hats are fun. Maybe the rancher. Maybe the contractor. Maybe one of the astronomers. And you're a farmer. Is 
these reed fibers growing here are pretty great. They're just dropping plenty of fibers for us to make our exosuits with. Things are getting pretty warm in this general area. Well, <laughs> we still have the little annoying shine bug. But it's further away from the mushrooms now, so it's not as much of a bother. Slickster down there. Not much for it to eat. It's in a res in a vacuum. Algae's holding pretty well. Okay, slime lung. Germs have escaped. Luckily, no one has become infected with slime lung yet. I'm employing that same method as before to allow us diagonal construction and not allow any of this hydrogen into our main base. We still aren't submitting a bioscan. I'm so confused. I don't know if these seeds are auto-planting themselves, but I haven't noticed a pipsqueak in here, so I don't think it's a pipsqueak's fault. Aha, we've got our nature reserve now. Should probably figure out a great hall. We've got plenty of space right here. We could definitely could do it here. One, two, three, four, one. Let's see, this is, uh, it's pretty late at night for me to do math. Four, two, six, sixty-four. Great Hall can be quite a bit bigger than that. That can be 120. So 64. That's 70, 80. 96. 112. 120. So that's the full length of a, a great hall, unless I can't count, which is really possible. Throw some doors on there. See what happens with that. Um, probably take those out. Maybe those out. And those out. to continue to ensure proper ventilation. After I dig this out, I'm going to put the blocks back right there. I just want airflow between the park and what's above it. Hmm. Care package. Curative tablets. That seems like it might be helpful soon. Since the slime lung has finally become airborne.
if things are off gassing I guess it's just the polluted water itself I don't know So we need to figure out something so that these people aren't sitting in CO2. I suppose the most likely answer is doors over here to start. Just allow more avenues of escape for oxygen and CO2. Hmm, it's pretty spicy over here. Let's just figure out where we want to have walls. Probably just right down this way is fine. Something like that would be fine. Hmm. I was just saying, why is that? I thought, I don't know, that's the wrong color. That's, that looks reachable. We snagged another egg corn. That's exciting. Is this stuff unreachable too? Doesn't say it's unreachable. Okay, well those aren't reachable digs. Just throw that right back on there. Buried objects are usually worthwhile to, to dig out, just FYI. Yeah. Seeds I could have had a long time ago. Oh, we're just letting our food rot now. That's never a good thing. Ninety-two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven times four is twenty-eight. Yeah, that's one hundred and twenty. That's one hundred and twenty. There has to be a recreational building in here. The smallest one is usually the water cooler. And then the mess tables. That'll do for now. Do not any decorative item you want to build out of granite because you get another decor boost on top of whatever its base value is. Two, three, four, five, that'd be one right there. So give them additional morale points.
upper limits here. One, two, three, four, and one. Just make this ceiling. Figure out the borders of our territory. I don't know what will happen if we replace those tiles. I don't remember. But hey, experiments are fun, aren't they? spot right there though that's a danger zone if we take that tile it's going to flood we want to replace that one lickety split since uh, that slime is liable to break on us So we'll make this the kitchen. We'll make a storeroom for food. If we store our food in CO2, it won't go bad on us as fast, so that'll be great. So let's do that one at least one need below so do ration box ration box and then we need floors too uh, probably better do airflow tile floors they need two there so this will be a level this will be a level this will be a ladder this to be a wall and then all of this should not be your flow tile because the stuff will fall out Not sure what will go up here, but we'll have a little space for something. Yeah, food. Storage boxes. Yeah, something happened. Something bad. So there must be just a moment in time where just a little yep bit falls through when you do that. Oh well. Worst things have happened. Go ahead and mop this stuff up though. Too much. Where's it all going? Mop it up, guys. Mop it up. Yeah, well, now we have a water lock down here, so there's that. <laughs> Oh, well, now we don't have a water lock down here. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, that'll be the end of that. We do need a place to put our polluted water. I guess we kind of already have that.
So I think we'll just come right here, put a mesh tile, put a bottle emptier, And we completed all of our research. Well, no, we didn't. We just completed some of our research. We're getting close, though. Uh, skills. Gene. You have a morale overflow, so that's great. What else are you good at, Gene? Machinery. So you can be our first... Um, where is it? Tinkerer. Turner loves a lot of things. He also loves tinkering. He's not very good at it, though. He's not very good at creativity, either. So. He doesn't love exosuit wearing, though. He loves mechatronics. He'll eventually be our mechatronics guy. Nesbit, you love farming. Farm it up, girl. Farm it up. All right. Well, I think this is a good spot to call this map for the day. So thanks for joining us in the glider cage. We hope to see you next time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I don't mind feedback. In fact, I love feedback. So if you know I could be doing something better or have any tips for me, please let me know. Have a great night. Bye-bye.